Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about foia. Foia in Chinese is called xuanguan. It's the first base you encounter upon entering a home, and it serves as a transition area between the outside and the interior of the house. In feng shui, the foia is believed to be an important area that can affect the energy flow of a home. Therefore, it's important to pay special attention to its design, layout, and decor to create a welcoming and harmonious environment. In this video, I will be sharing with you eight feng shui tips to consider while designing your foyer. Number one, partition. According to feng shui principles, having the front door facing directly towards the back door can create an energy imbalance and result in negative energy flow. The remedy for this type of layout is to use a partition in the foyer to create a separation. The partition should be solid and sturdy to create a clear physical separation between the front door and the back door. To allow light and energy to flow through the partition, you can consider using translucent material. Frosted or textured glass are also good choices to allow natural light to pass through. You can also consider using shelves as a partition with nice decorations. Number two, lighting. The foyer should be bright and well lit to make it feel welcoming. Many foyers do not have natural light, so there are a few ways we can fix this. One way is to use frosted glass in windows and doors to let in light without people being able to see inside. Another way is to use ceiling lights or lamps to make the foyer brighter. It's also helpful to use light-colored paint or wallpaper and light-colored flooring materials so light can reflect and make the foyer brighter. By using these strategies, the foyer can feel warm and inviting for people who come into the home. Number three, cleanliness. Maintaining cleanliness and tidiness in the foyer is crucial. Avoid cluttering the space with too many items, as they can make the foyer look messy and negatively impact the feng shui of the entire home. Number four, color. Using warm toned colors for the foyer can create a comfortable and inviting atmosphere. Soft colors can help people feel at ease and forget their worries as they enter the home. Colors like soft yellows, warm grays, and earthy tones can evoke a sense of warmth and coziness, making the foyer a welcoming space. Number five, furniture. When arranging furniture in the foyer, it's important to ensure it doesn't obstruct normal passage. In smaller living spaces, such as open floor plan, utilizing furniture such as shoe cabinets or low cabinets can help expand storage options. Number six, decorations. Decorations in the foyer play a vital role in enhancing its beauty and attractiveness. Potted plants are an excellent choice for the foyer as they bring in natural elements and promote a sense of freshness and vitality. Additionally, landscape paintings or artwork can add a focal point to the foyer, creating visual interest and adding personality to the space. Number seven, materials. Choosing a durable and easy to clean flooring material for the foyer is essential. This area receives a lot of food traffic and can quickly accumulate dirt and debris. A durable flooring material such as ceramic tiles or hardwood can withstand wear and tear and is easy to clean. To create a clear distinction between the foyer and the living room, different colored floor tiles can be used in these two areas based on the principles of the five elements. This can help create a smooth transition between the foyer and the living space while enhancing the overall feng shui of the home. Number eight, clock. From a feng shui perspective, avoid placing clock at the entrance, as this can create a sense of psychological oppression and is also associated with negative connotation in Chinese culture. In Chinese, the word for clock is zhong, which is similar to the word for ending, which can bring about negative energy based on feng shui beliefs. Instead, consider using other decor elements such as artwork or plants to enhance the space. These elements can add a sense of vitality, positivity, and beauty to the space without invoking any negative symbolism. Thank you everyone, I hope you find my video helpful. See you next time!